Ah, oh, hello there, folks. I'm rested, I'm relaxed, I'm fed, and I have a warm cup of drink ready to soothe my silken toes. Ah. Oh. Actually, I'm already missing the meal I just had. Had a lovely roast chicken dinner. Mmm, good stuff. Although I did recently realise just how weird the idea of eating chicken actually is. In fact, any winged fowl actually is when you stop and think about it. It's one of those things, like, I don't get sometimes how certain foods came about. Because at some point in history, someone has to have been looking upward, seeing this majestic wingy, not chicken per se, but this majestic wingy creature soaring by overhead on gusts of wind, and gone, you know what? I'm going to put that in my mouth. One second. Perfect. And. What are you <laughs> and nobody questioned do? it. In fact, everyone else started doing it. Just a thing that happened. Wine. Wine. She wouldn't know the difference between you and a murderer serving up a glass of poison. True, that's like a taste tester's job, not hers. In fact, how do you see? How do you tell a murderer from a servant? Just a glance. They have like a huge handlebar moustache, and they're just like, Whoa. as they serve you the glass that's smoking, presumably. God, you're a dick. D Mastiff dick, obviously. Yes, Mistress Mastiff. Note to self: find this woman and brain her with a kosh. It's the only way. In fact, speaking of, I'm sure I heard a man yawning and stretching here. Clearly got some sort of, yeah, some sort of backache. You can tell from his posture, some sort of backache problems. A slight spinal adjustment from my trusty medical implement. <clears throat> Perfect. Limbo dancing champion of the universe now. Uh, let's try this way first. Good a direction as any. Okay. Click, 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 click. 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 Why she got house guests when she's mad with grief? Why is that a thing? I get this is high society, but even so. Actually, why do I know the name Ginny? Oh, she's mentioned in um, Stanish's letter, wasn't she? Though apparently she actually does like the woman. She's a. Uh, He's anti Rob the Wench, which I can appreciate. Not a sentiment I'm going along with, obviously. I'm stealing everything that's not nailed down, but. You know how it is. Okay. Goodies are there lurking about for me to have. Goodies of immense quality and amazing value, perhaps? Let's find out today. No, oh, there you go. Her special mirror. I say special, it's a mirror, but it's probably. All gilded and got fancy scroll work on it, and it's that nice leafy pattern everyone seems to like so much. What's this? Jitty, if something happens to me and I'm lost at sea, unable to return for some reason, then make sure Edwina listens to the message that I recorded on the old Victrola I put in the master bedroom. It's a sort of talking machine, and all she needs to do is turn it on, and she'll hear my voice. And my farewell to her. Yours, Captain Moira. Make sure no one else is in the room, though. There can be secret things, probably involving treasure. Then again, I'm always talking about treasure. Because I'm a pirate. <laughs> but don't tell my wife. Shut up, cat. Yes. I suppose that was supposed to alert the guard outside. Fortunately, he's uh, he's taking a nap. He's relaxing. He's had a, a breakthrough in tropity. Tropity? Chiropractic? Chiropractic. And I have some important things to say to you. My God, you sound like Vincent Price. She was married to Vincent Price, pirate Vincent Price. Why is his text scrolling so fast? He's not speaking that fast. I have saved over the years, and an odd item I discovered recently. If I don't return from this next voyage, go to my study, where I have hidden a small switch. The switch will temporarily open a secret door. Is it in a bookcase? Please say it's in a bookcase. Make good use of what you find there. Oh, and I will. Always remember that I am your devoted husband, 
Robert. Oh, Robert. Too bad your wife's barking out of grief right now. I'm sure she a would have loved the message. Room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. Oh, definitely, Garrett. Secret rooms always have the best swag. And the scariest porn, but that's another mission entirely. Right, get out of here. Going back to my chicken story. Just the weirdness of who would have thought of that first. Doesn't mention the fact when you think about it, when how you prepare chicken. Say someone's already done the whole knocking it out of the sky and eating a thing. Someone's doing the whole roasting a thing. Makes a bit more sense. Well then someone at some point decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick my hand up its butt, rip out its insides, and put in an onion. And a bit of rosemary and thyme, obviously. I mean, that would make sense. And he's hip thrusting straight up at the sky, isn't he? His drill will pierce the heavens. Which is just weird. But not to mention that, at some point someone seen some bird or other crap out an egg and go, yep, putting that in my mouth as well. Because why not? Why not? Because it's weird. Why well, you gotta be weird? Then again, most of the innovations in history are made by the strange and the crazy. It's just the way it works. There's a fine line between madness and genius. And the line's a bit skew if at last. Oh, yes. Very quiet. Yes. Well, no. Again, why are you having parties in soirees when you're mad with grief? Why is this a thing? I mean, it's helping me immensely, of course, but it's Yes, quite. And on and on. Don't you two ever get tired of yourselves? My, what's gotten into our this real quick? I know I'm tired of them. Yes. Let's open this. Got the amazing goodies inside. But you all seem bored, though, so perhaps you'd like to see a magic trick. I'm going to make these jewels and gems and whatever else is in here disappear. What is it? Ta-da! I don't know who that is, but I saw that. You saw nothing. I vanished. I don't know. Speaking of weird conversations, actually, we did come to the realization, a friend of mine and me, that uh, magic is actually a really, really unrepresentational hobby. By which I mean that when you stop and think about it, I don't think I don't think magic is just a thing that. Um, Thanks to the way society works, not just everyone can actually do. It's sort of a thing you expect dorky, sort of mid-30-ish white guys to be doing. I mean, to put it as delicately as possible, when a white guy makes a watch disappear, that's a magic trick. Black guy does it, there's an inquisition. Yeah, and that's never even thinking about stuff like making your assistant disappear. You were the last person to see her alive. It's a trick. I bet you think it is. You make me sick. Weird stuff. Society as a whole is just utterly bizarre to me. Which is why I went into psychology. I wanted to understand the mystery that is the human mind. Didn't get any answers. Found a lot of stuff that was even more fucked up than I realised, but no actual answers, sadly. Mm. Speaking of answers, by the way, if you haven't already... Uh, cast your vote on whether or not you think the new uh, gamma system for increasing the visibility in the game is working or not, please do so now. Because I kind of like the idea of going back to the contrast system, but I know it didn't really work for everybody. So, yeah. Again, if it, this is like six videos after I swapped, so if you already think it's working fine, just let me know and we'll leave it at that. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I know you're here somewhere. Camera, are you gonna zoom out on me? Zoom out? Apparently not. It's gone, it's fine. Run away, run away! If you see that douchebag, run the other way! Okay, where the hell's the lassie gone? No, she was in here somewhere. Hmm. Well, it's time to knock you out, son. Careful, careful. Whenever you do, don't get caught, as you're planning to knock him out. I say knock out. Purely medical, for his own benefit. He, he's been complaining of sleepless nights. So, you know, everyone clubbed together. But, to arrange for this. Ah, uh, it's basically the old version of Night Nurse. Someone smacked you over the back of the head with a club. Well, Blackjack. Potato, potato at this point. 
Okay. 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 Where am I going? Not a sound, like a voice, carried on the wind. That it sounds like crazy, right. dog. Sure Could it be the widow Moira? I know the difference. Where ain't Widow Twanky? That's a certain. No, I will not. Bryant tells me you've left a message for me on the Victrola. Really, Robert? The Lord Can't you just my now? tell me yourself? That silly Victrola annoys me. Why must we have that ugly mechanist thing crouching in our bedroom? If you your message some, is really uh, so important, music. then... Then you'll tell me yourself. The Tom Jones at dinner. Will you get it on? Yes. Or Barry dinner. White. Depending I'll on your generation. Prepare all your favorites. You must be a friend of Robert's, perchance? Sure, well, let's go with one that. One really ought to recognize one's own guests, but the fog has been so thick lately. Would you, in your house? Could you somehow find it in your heart to fetch me a glass of wine? The servants have forgotten. Don't just say that last line of dialogue at all, you could omit that entirely. Wine, I huh? believe it, Robert. Chilly night. The servants have had the impertinence I can go for something warming myself. No. Not even my Ginny. Robert, Interesting. I presume that if we give her wine, she'll spill secrets. And wine. About uh, where the treasure is. So the problem with this is, I mean, I don't actually need to find clues in order to find objects in this game. They're automatically spawned regardless. The information would presumably just allow me to find the, uh, find what I'm looking for. Or not. That's it. The problem is, I don't know where to find the wine. So I'm going to have to run around blindly looking for the wine. In which case, I'm very likely to come across the treasure anyway. So I don't know. It's a little counterintuitive to me. That tune over there is still like, thrusting right up at the heavens. There's a skylight too. I kind of hope that if this world has deities, the one looking right down right now is like, my God, is he pointing his crotch right at me? The impertinence of that human. Can't hurry up your calisthenic routine there, mate. Come okay, on, come. Clom, 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 clom. Looks uh, awfully tough. Oh, ho, 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 I saw the shadow. I saw the shadow before you had a chance to spot me, Wench. Very sneaky of you. Very sneaky indeed, there. It is what I mean about this game and its AI. Where they'll just randomly suddenly appear out of nowhere, having decided to go talk to a friend or some such. You know, just to mess with you. Ugh, oh, well, that got my heartbeat. Up a few ticks. Yeah, back down you go. I thought so as well. Don't know why you came up or what you went to do, but... As long as you're out of the way, that's the important part. Steps to go. Again, nobody apparently noticed the unconscious Limbo Damping Jancy in there. Limbo Dancing Champion. Come closer. Stop walking away. Stop. This is not going as well as I would have hoped. Not well at all. Okay, let's hide in the corner. Wait for my chance. And bash him on the back of the head as he comes fast. Well, that's sad. I'm already down the stairs now, so is there even a point? Is there a. Ooh. There's glowies to my left as well. Could you, should I risk it? Risk it for a biscuit? Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh. No, it's too late. I spent too long in indecision. It, it's, it's far too late now. I'll wait for him to go past again. See, I don't know where Missy is either. Where the hell has she gone? The brute, if she. Ah, there she is. See, if I'd walked earlier, she probably would have spotted me. The cow. Okay. Now she's going back up there. Is she actually going to. She's stuck like standing in the corner waiting for me to come past now. Nope. Oh, there she is. I'm trying to get out of the way. Should have time. Grab the glowy. It's mine. Oh, God. Servants everywhere. Careful. Careful. Vault the bat. Vault the bat. Vault. Oh, for God's sake. Never mind. Aha. A vent. Even better. Now I can be super sneaky. No one can find me in here. Apart from the rats. And the rats don't count. Do you? Stupid rat. That's mine. Don't know why there's a random lump of gold in the vents. 
That's an invincible rat, apparently. That's distressing. Oh god damn it, that's not what I meant to do. It's nothing over there, I don't think. Oh, it's coming. We've been oh no! It's probably stopped hitting the air, but it's giving myself away. Probably not my best plan, if I'm honest. Bless you. Who said that? I See? thought there was something. It just sounds really, really. Why does it sound so goddamn loud all of a sudden? It's where it's like they're bloody everywhere around me. What is going on? Ah, well. It was probably nothing. It was probably everything. First day. Will a storm never let up? We've been kept in port for three days, and while the men stay on pay, lest they find other work. The treasure perplexes me. What manner of gold is it that gleams so, but does not dent? What does the strange symbol on it mean? Is it solid? No, not heavy enough. Hollow, then. Friday. I endeavour to mount it, but the treasure shows no sign of warp or scorching. I've heard things protected by wards and such. Could this be such an item? I have placed it in the secret room for now, but this warrants for a study when I return. Ha ha From pirating. Ra. He's a pirate, in case you hadn't uh, already picked up on that. Monday. Pirate day, as I call it. Ha ha Every day is pirate day. The weather finally broke, and tomorrow we set sail. If the dock master is in the mood to take a bribe from an old marauder like me, too bad I would have to leave behind my fine gold telescope. The narrated. The glass lens is chipped. If I were a superstitious man, I'd have delayed the trip. For now it will stay here on display in the rotunda. Barrr. I guess. Gold telescope, that's... Well, I suppose it's not going to rust, at least, but still that sounds horribly inefficient. I'm in the study, so it's like in the middle of these bunch of rooms, I guess. Okay, that's, that works for me. I gotta find the galley as well while I think about it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Please be good things. Please be amazing things. And down. Click. Excellent. Yeah, that works. Health potion, bit of loot. Not that far off my goal either. 51%, that's pretty good. Okay. Here we go. Sneaky, sneaky. No, that's not it. Down the bottom. Perfect. Unlock that. Again, I am aware that I'm supposed to be able to guess what type of lock these are by the colour. A lot of the colours are so bloody similar. So even when I'm playing like on a big HD television, it's bloody impossible to tell which colour you're looking at sometimes. Well, you know, is it dark grey or slightly less dark grey? Or worse, that weird green that looks grey. Unless you stare at it for like... 20 million years first to discern the difference. Now yeah, we're going to come investigate why that door's open. Anyone at all? I mean, what could it be? What could the cause possibly be? I got fire. Oh, I got fire arrows now, haven't I? That's a thing. I'm not sure why I want to use them for yet, but I've got them. Right, fire's out. Can't see me as I peek through the door. Black Jack, baby Black Jack, gonna play your skull like a bongo. Okay. Question is, how do we get over there without Missy spotting us? Fairly easy to avoid the dude sitting in the middle, not eating his dinner. Not just even what he's, he's just staring ahead with dead, glassy eyes. Perhaps he's been drinking all the wine, so, uh, the Widow Moira can't get her hands on it. I nearly walked straight into the line of sight of that servant, didn't I? That was far luckier than I'd like to admit to. I'm gonna stay here, in, hidden in the corner. It's a perfect disguise. I think you'll find that. That's, that's mine. Thank you. Uh, nothing odd about it at all. There? Nope, you saw nothing. You're not even looking at me. Bullshit you saw me. You're literally not even looking at me. Someone there? <sighs> Ain't you got nothing better to do than frighten the maid? Nope. 
I completely without purpose. And porpoise too, sadly. That's a cat in the room as well. She spent the entire time working up the courage, essentially working up the courage to go and check the spot you thought you saw me. Wow. Waste of time much. I need you to go away so I can open this door though. I need to know what's behind the door. I always need to know what's behind the door. Okay. Where exactly are you? <laughs> this is the thing. When you think you've got their pattern down, suddenly they do something like they stop to just randomly inspect an item in the room. It really, really throws you when you're trying to figure things out. Okay. Damn it. Of course the bloody room beyond is brightly lit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to knock you out, aren't I? Hmm. Hmm. Question is, when am I gonna get my chance? That's an impressive magic trick. How do you levitate like, levitate like that just whenever you want? Cats are magic. Confirmed. At least they're involved in magic tricks anyway, which is almost the same thing, let's face it. Close this door again. That noise gonna get your attention? Nope. See, I don't get exactly what triggers that as well. It's like sometimes you open a door or close it and they'll be, What's that? From like the other side of the house. Another time you open and close doors right in front of them and they don't even blink. Oh, look at you, I've got the cure for your common cold. Here, let me apply it. No more sneezing. A lovely lie down by the fire, that'll do you, uh, do you great. See, the cat will keep you company. As it spins around in circles. Stay away, kitty. I swear to God, if you bump into me and decide to go into alert meowing mode, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be impressed. Okay, here we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Just knock you out. Like so. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh, god damn it, she saw me as well. Is that what we're saying? He's dead. He's not dead, he's unconscious. Stop panicking about everything, he's just sleeping. Ah, oh, hide in this room. Okay, seriously, what the hell was that all about? Why? I was behind him, directly behind him. He wasn't alerted. So why did I not knock him out, but instead send him into alert mode by hitting him? He's not dead at all. Do you guys just not bother to record a soundbite of finding people unconscious? I mean, apparently not, but even so. Oh, I don't know. I'm just annoyed by that. That clearly should have been a, a nice and simple bonk bonk, everyone in the room's unconscious, on I go. But no, the game randomly decides that, despite following all the rules, that doesn't count as a knockout anymore. Admit, I've been looking forward to some action. Oh god, you and the serving went, Jay. Just open and close the door, great, that's a, that's a fine plan you have there. I'm not going to actually investigate the room. Just can open it, find it suspiciously unlocked, and then leave again. Fine guard you are. In fact, let's give him a hand, shall we? Well the mm. ah, This is the thing about LPing this game. I'm a lot less patient than I probably should be. I'm very tempted to open the door. Chuck a flash bomb and you know, peg it past him. Why are you still in alert mode? You've not found anything for like the better part of a minute. Go away! Unless you keep walking into the same unconscious guy and suddenly being re-alerted all over again. Which would be deeply, deeply annoying if that's what's happening. Probably nothing but just in case. It's probably nothing. I haven't made any... No I've been standing still! Okay, I'm calling bullshit on that one, game. Hmm. I made no noises when... He's got no reason Nothing's to come in here. here. Literally, absolutely no reason. Go to sleep. Oh, piss off, would you turn around exactly as I just went to swing? The game even paused for a second as I hit the swing, just to allow him to do that. I'm calling bullshit on that. I'm sorry, but I am. 
Yeah, I know. Salty, salty, and all that. But yeah, that. That's really annoying. The fact that you could just randomly manage to spot me, you know, at the last possible second like that. And why did she turn around and spot me? Why? Why would you just instantly turn around? What sense? I swear the game just screwing with me. I was having the characters home in on me for no reason. There, there it is again. No, no, it isn't. There's been no. Oh, look, I've been standing still. You've no reason to come in this direction. So you know what? Let's go to sleep. Because you know you can't beat me. Oh, that's just fucking bullshit. The second I knock her out, he comes running straight toward dead. me. From the in a room with the door closed to that. She's not dead. Shut up. I'm sick of this go away, cat. Game of yours. Yeah, I'm sick of this cat game. After all, I don't know. I've spent like the entire game so far praising the AI. And then it starts doing this bullshit. The stuff I hate in other games. Where the AI seems to know, without any possible way of knowing, exactly what you've done and where you are. If I knock out this le this lass in a completely uh, completely different room with the door closed, you have no reason to instantly decide. I better run into this room with my weapon drawn. This will be the second she's knocked out of that. I mean, perhaps I should be a bit less annoyed, considering that he ran straight into the room, straight to where I knocked her out, and somehow didn't see me while I was standing there, in, you know, full light. Perhaps I should be grateful of that. Bit of unrealism, but... Oh, I'm still annoyed. I mean, I don't think I really get any particular... I don't think it really affects me, other than it turning up on my stats at the end of the mission, that I didn't actually, you know, do this without being spotted at all. But then again, what are the odds of me, on a blind playthrough, being able to go throughout the entire game without getting spotted? Pretty damn low, basically. Even so. Even so. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What? Why have you randomly picked up? I didn't click anything. Why have you suddenly decided to pick up a pot? I, seriously, I swear the game's just screwing with me now. Uh, clams and noodles. Oh my. How very lewd. Anything else on the table? Doesn't seem to be. There is you though, isn't there? I'm gonna have to get you out of the way. Oh, well, thank you for turning off that light source for me. That's that's very kind of you. You actually made it slightly easier for me to sneak around. So that's the kind of NPCs we need. The helpful kind, you know? Right, now go to sleep. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Excellent. Tide in the darkness, open the door. You. Can I actually leave the door? I want to try something. I'm just going to leave that door open for a moment. I want to try something. I get people who have played the game or just... It's not really going to be a case of playing the game. There's a lot of you going to be able to figure out exactly what I'm doing already, but... Let's see if the game's actually... If it's legit what it's talking out of its arse at this point. Are you going to notice? <sighs> This should have been closed. <laughs> that was a bit of a weird bug, but it still worked. He didn't tur automatically turn around and start carrying on patrolling because he noticed the door was open, which it shouldn't have been. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's a dude over there. And there's one in there. He He's walking away. This gives me a chance. Chance to do what? I'm not entirely certain. Wait a second, this is the rotunda. This is where below where I was earlier, so the telescope should be in here somewhere, right? Telescope, telescope, telescope! Well, ain't that a stroke of luck? Just need you to fuck off for a second and I can uh, do this! Yeah, the perfect crime! Oh, I got. Yeah, I just completed two objectives at once there, didn't I? Got two pieces of special loot now, and I've got over 60%, uh. 60% loot. I've finished the mission. Other than actually finding the golden book, of course. 
Well, look at me go. Look at me go. Finishing missions like a boss, don't you know? Uh, I'm gonna come out and find out what that was. Nope, you don't care about the noise, apparently. Unless I happen to time that exactly the right moment for the thunder flash, maybe. That might be why you didn't notice me opening the door. Wait for it. Good, you didn't instantly turn around. No bullshit to deal with today. Well, right now at least, anyway. Okay. Well, this definitely strikes me as a galley. I'm not entirely certain where the secret passage is going to be when it opens, but... Yep, this is definitely a galley. And for now, I'll toss the body out of the way. Just make sure no one comes across it. I just can't, even though I've got the 60% I need, I just can't bash up the treasure. I've got to know. What's in the box? What's in the box? Basically a psychology that game designers employ. No, no, stop it. There we go. 68%, not doing bad. Not doing bad at all. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Ah, oh, forget it. Going to be a long shift if I jump at every little thing. Oh, right, you must have noticed that the telescope's gone. I'm not sure that you're jumping at every little thing when it comes to an important heirloom of the family mysteriously vanishing. That, i got to admit, would be a fairly legit reason to freak out. Then again, at this point, it's made clear that uh, apparently every single person employed here only cared about the captain. None of them seemed to like her wife, except for, like, the one maidservant. Strangely enough. Alright. Have I looked in here? Yeah, I have. Cool. Alright, switch under the desk. There it is. Now there should be something in the galley that's open. And we have a completely clear path all the way there. Marvellous. I mean, I don't know how long this passage actually stays open for, but I don't not, you know, push my luck by having to sneak all the way there, you know? That seems like a bad idea. Speaking of bad idea, it's probably a bad idea to run past like- Ooh, hello. Behind a bookshelf as well, yes! Now you know. Now you know. Push the button. Push the button, push, 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 push the button. Uh, this way, I guess. Good a way as any. Racky, racky, racky. That's Aha. got to be the compendium. What's this? Edwina. If you're reading this, it's because I am gone, but fear not, I have provided for you. The money in the chest will keep you surrounded by servants. There's a gold slab too, but it's a mystery to me. It could be some kind of fool's gold, or enchanted. You won't need it though, not with the chest filled with coin. Yours forever, Robert. Ah. Chest filled with coin, you say? New note. New note about what? The widow Moira may know where the thing is. Widow Moira is the bedroom. The widow needs the money in the chest in the captain's secret room to survive, but she does not need the compendium. I know we're supposed to be portraying Garrett's thief of a conscience of sorts, but dollar dollar dollar, right? I need that money. I mean, I haven't been particularly hard up for being able to purchase, you know, goodies and whatnot in this game as of yet. And to be quite frank, I'd rather not start being now. As perhaps heartless as that sounds of me. So, um... Yeah, I mean... She can... She's got a giant mansion. If she's hard up on cash, she can sell this and move somewhere smaller. She doesn't need a mansion to herself, so... I'm not going to lose any sleep, let's put it that way. But I'm going to end this, uh, end this here, I guess. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, and all that. And, uh... Hmm. Uh, hmm. I mean, should I... Should I maybe at least bring her that glass of wine she wanted? You know, karmically balance out the universe? Or I should be spending far too much time around the keepers? Shut up, rat. Shut up. Stupid rat. Actually, you know what? The rat's dead. I think the rat's got the right idea. Screw the rich. Take all the cash. Okay. I'm just gonna... Uh, 
No, I can't even take her a nice bottle of wine from there. Yeah, whatever, never mind. See you guys next time. Bye-bye now.